Good morning, YouTube. As you can see, I just cut myself a haircut. So basically what happened, I went to a new barber I've never been to before and there was a lot of people there and it was a long line and I was waiting for a long time and absolutely everyone in the line, they were taking a skin fade. And absolutely everyone, so I was just sitting there like, hmm. Maybe I should try a skin fade too. I've never done a skin fade. So I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna ask the guy to give me a skin fade. And it turned out freaking good. I absolutely love it. So this shit is good. I love it. Yesterday, I bought myself a new toy. And I'm gonna try it out this morning. Let's freaking go. Oh shit, so you guys may wonder, new toy? What the freak do you mean? Let me show you. Step one. This is pretty cool. You can see the first thing here, focus. It's that app, that white, green and blue app. It says health mate. If I go into that app, Gives me a lot of stats. What's he gonna do with this, yeah, man? So here we have it, my new toy. I bought a smart weight. It is connected to my phone. It's connected to the Wi-Fi in the apartment, and I haven't tried it yet. I bought it yesterday. I want to try it out when I was fresh. It tracks all my stats, my body fat, muscle mass, water weight, every freaking thing and the reason why i bought it it wasn't because i wanted to measure my body fat because i know it won't be accurate but i just wanted a scale that's accurate when i weigh myself like on what what i weigh i wanted something that's consistent because that old one is freaking shit so i needed something i can trust so here we have the new one, we're gonna test it, see what I weigh, and just for measuring sake, that one, it just weighed me in at 81.4 kilos in this room, so let's try and see. We have the app for, because the app is connected to the scale, so now I'm gonna jump on the scale, I'm very excited to see what it says. Uh, even though I know it's not accurate, I'm very excited to see the body fat percentage. So let's try to check this out. 80.5 kilos measuring. What the fuck? <laughs> this thing says 7.9% body fat. <laughs> what the fuck? According to the scale guys, 7.9% body fat. What do you guys think? I do not think so. I think more around at least 12%. While I sit here with you guys in the living room, I'm gonna put on a screen recorder here. There it goes, there it started recording. So I'm just gonna show you guys in the app what it says. So here you can say, uh, here you can see on the timeline here. This is my weigh-in yesterday. It says 80 kilos and daily steps, walking, blah, blah, blah. That's basically just because I put in that I weigh 80 kilos, which is my average weekly weigh-in. And here you have, I tried two times to see if it was accurate. You can see both, both times it showed 80.5 kilos. So that's what I wanted. I wanted a consistent weight that showed the same weight every time. And here you see 80.5, 80.5. And you can see fat mass. 7.2% here and 7.9% here. That's pretty freaking low. I know this is not accurate, but it's just fun to see. And here you can see it's, whoa, muscle mass, 87.9, <laughs> holy fuck. Bone mass, 4.2. Also has programs, devices. Uh, I have profile. 24 years old, 180 centimeters, 80.5 kilos. So I think this was pretty cool. If there is a guy who needs a scale, 
for a hundred bucks. I think I'm the one. I think this was a good investment. I, th I think I deserve this good scale. I, <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool, but you know what? We've been talking about the freaking weight scale this entire video. Let's get the video started and do something more exciting. I'm a bad YouTuber. I just sat down, put on a good show on the TV, made my breakfast, and I just started eating my breakfast without showing you guys. So, damn, that's freaking bad. So, we got a bowl of oats with blueberries and some zero calorie caramel topping. Also, I had three whole eggs and I've eaten almost everything. We still have some left, but this is a breakfast. I put it into my fitness pal, I think it's 750 calories or something, but the very important thing here with this bowl of oatmeal is the salted caramel topping. This one, it's zero calories, uh, if it just can focus. Yeah, this shit is so freaking good and it's it actually almost is zero calories. It's nine calories per hundred grams and I used 20 grams so two two calories nothing uh, I bought this in a supplement store here in Bergen called gym spot so if you live in Bergen try these ones they are pretty good if you don't want calories hold on uh, they also have a let's check in my cabinet here they also have this one this is chocolate but this one has a bit more calories this one has 31 calories per 100 grams so but this one is way better it tastes so much more but this one has 31 calories per 100 grams the other one has 9 calories per 100 grams so even though we are bulking we are eating 3800 calories i don't want to waste my calories on sauces that's just a freaking waste i want like whole freaking food that fills me up because i'm a hungry boy I need to be full so I can waste free calories on sauces. So I'm currently waiting for some potatoes which is almost done in the oven right now and uh, we have a push day today we're gonna have some ink <laughs> I can't speak we're gonna have some bench press we're gonna have some inkland dumbbell press and some inkland flies and a bunch of good stuff looking very forward to that and I'll bring the camera today and <clears throat> also uh, I just I've been having vacation for about four days now and something weird has started happening so approximately at the normal day at work I walk like 10 to 12 thousand steps a day so in order for me to maintain that every single morning of this vacation I just eat my breakfast made my coffee then I've gone for a walk in the city center and I also walked back and forth to the gym and been walking on the treadmill for some warm-ups on the gym and I've been going exactly 10,000 steps every single day so my activity level is exactly the same as when I was at work but now I've increased my calories I started at 3,500 went to 3,600 went to 3,700 and now I started losing weight not much like just 0 0.2 kilos a week been losing weight so I even increased them to 3,800 and now the last days I've been feeling very flat my weight went from 80 kilos down to 79 kilos and all this weird stuff I don't know what's going on my activity level is basically the same so I don't understand but that's what's been going on now but over here I monitor all my I have my calories here my average and all my weigh-ins here as you can see 80 point blah 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 and then boom it just started going down and like this is this week so uh, it's pretty freaking weird I don't understand it but I'm not complaining though eating more calories that's good but yeah I'm gonna see how my body reacts to 3800 calories this week and if I continue to drop weight I have to increase them to 3900 and then 4000 I could just keep going that but that's a good sign that just shows when I'm going back to do another competition soon I can die go on a diet on very high calories can't wait so let's see if they are done they've been in for 20 two minutes always the heat wave oh no 
far from done. I'm putting him on 15 more minutes. It is done, we have this meat over here, it has a little bit more fat than the lean ground beef I normally use but I wouldn't want, I needed some more fat into my macro so that's why I use these. Here we have 800 grams of potatoes which is a lot. Gotta stay full you know so we need a lot of potatoes and I absolutely love them like this when you put them in the oven. They get like this crispy like this. Mm. But we miss one thing. For those of you who know me well, you know I'm a big fan of ketchup. People hate on ketchup. They say, I'm a guy who uses way too much. And fuck those guys. I absolutely love ketchup and it has so little calories, so it's just to go crazy on your meals. Let's see. We're gonna have 80 grams. Got it. Let's just go ham. Some on the meat too. Oh, not enough. There we go. 80 grams. I'm looking so forward to this. Like, this is so much food. We're going to the gym in half an hour, so <laughs> this shit is gonna fill me up for the push day. We're gonna do bench press today, and I have bench pressed one time after the corona crisis. Uh, and the reason why I hadn't benched straight away when the gyms were open was because in my program it said incline bench press and incline dumbbell bench press but now I'm in a new meso cycle, new training block so now we have bench press back in the program so I'm starting easy uh, we're, we have, I think we have three sets of 7 to 10 with two reps left in the tank so it's going to be a lot of fun so cheers boys, see you in the gym There we go, all finished up, tasted delicious. <coughs> Sorry. Now, I'm just gonna make my post-workout shake and then we're going straight to the gym. Cheers. You paint a picture in my mind You wanna leave it all behind In a world that's turning all the time Nothing could stop me starting to getting a, a little bit scruffy so it is time to get this shit off because you guys probably like to have beer but I don't like it I just like to be clean shaved don't know why I just like it so let's and shaved looking clean and uh, guys the physique is looking on point now look at this bam this is nice 
But now I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'm gonna eat my last meal of the day, and play some video games, maybe watch some Mr. Robot with my roommate, Lars, and then go to bed. I'm currently editing this video we are watching right now. It's 11.30 at night. There you have it. Working hard for you guys so you can have some content, but uh, for those of you, if you haven't watched my previous video, uh, I just moved to this apartment almost two weeks ago with two of my good friends, and it has taken some time to get everything in and move everything, but I just want to show you the last few things I got to my room. I'm standing in the middle of my room. Here I have my bed and some clean laundry. Uh, and I'm gonna show the first. So I mounted a TV on the wall so I can watch some series and watch some YouTube on the TV. It is hooked up to the PlayStation behind here. Also this is where I put my laundry and I also sit this coffee shit here too <laughs> and we have the gaming corner here the chair I also put this thing here with some old class pictures and my weigh-ins and my IFBB uh, card thing yeah so hmm so so I'm very sorry about the clickbait in this video, uh, of course I know the scale won't be accurate when it comes to body fat and all that, I just saw the clickbait opportunity and I took it. The channel has been growing like freaking crazy these last months, it's been insane. You know, I gain subscribers almost every day uh, and it's so awesome to see all of you new people, so I really hope you guys enjoy the content and really like notice now that the more subscribers you get, the faster the channel grows and also the reason why we've been growing so fast lately is because of one of my older videos from four months ago which was named, uh, this is called uh, 3 free fitness apps which has been which has 37,000 views right now and I think that's where many of the new subscribers come from because they see that video and then they subscribe so awesome and yeah I'm just gonna end the video right now so Hope you guys enjoyed it, hit, give the video a like if you enjoyed it and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button too, it will really help me out and motivate me. So cheers boy, grab yourself something good to drink and see you guys in the next video.